hi everyone in this video you will learn what is the block diagram and operation of a dual trace oscilloscope in the previous video we have seen dual beam oscilloscope and it is dual trace oscilloscope both are different okay if you see the block diagram and explanation you can understand what is the difference between dual beam oscilloscope and dual trace oscilloscope see this is the dual trace oscilloscope block diagram so the first channel a and channel b these two represents two types of signals which you want to display on the crt screen and this is signal a and this is signal b in dual beam oscilloscope also we have displayed two types of signals channel a and channel b but the difference is there we have in dual beam oscilloscope in dual beam oscilloscope you have taken two vertical reflection plates and one horizontal reflection plates okay so two vertical reflection plates one channel is nowhere related to other channel so two types of vertical reflection plates are simultaneously coming and uh, one horizontal reflection plate has been used and displaying the crt screen but here in the dual trace oscilloscope in dual trace oscilloscope one vertical reflection plate and one set of horizontal reflection plates we have used okay not two vertical reflection plates as in the case of dual beam oscilloscope that means same vertical reflection plates one set of vertical reflection plates is sufficient to display both the waveforms from channel 1 and channel 2 okay let us see how it is possible how a single set of vertical reflection plates is going to be displayed to waveforms from individual channels okay first the input what you are going to see that is coming from channel a first apply to pre amplifier and attenuator pre amplifier and attenuator this is nothing but vertical amplifier and this is also nothing but vertical amplifier so vertical amplifier is a wideband amplifier consisting of two types of amplifiers internally one is a set input amplifier followed by bjt main amplifier so here that is written as pre amplifier and attenuator vertical amplifier is nothing but this pre amplifier and attenuator which is a wideband amplifier the output of this one before applying to vertical reflection plates must pass through delay line must pass through delay line this is the delay line here also this is the delay line for the second channel the purpose of delay line canceller also we know what is the purpose of delay line in order to stop the signal in the vertical plate when compared to the horizontal reflection system horizontal reflection system we have uh, three sets of operations are going to be done uh, trigger pulse generator uh, sweep generator and followed by horizontal amplifier but whereas in the vertical reflection plates we have only horizontal vertical amplifier directly the output is given to the plates so to stop the signal until the horizontal reflection system also reaches the say, um, time period so we need to stop the signal in the vertical reflection system by taking a delay line now now the output of this relay line is connected to electronic switch this type of switch is the method we have used in the dual trace whereas this type of switch was not there in the dual beam oscilloscope because the switch is not necessary because there are two separate vertical reflection plates we have used but here we a single set of vertical reflection plates one time it is connected to channel a and one time it is connected to channel b okay so electronic switch is connected to channel a and the same electronic switch is also connected to channel b okay and the output of this electronic switch is following through vertical amplifier nothing but a second stage of vertical amplifier which is nothing but a main amplifier main amplifier also known as a bjt amplifier if you see the vertical amplifier uh, operation you can understand what is the main amplifier bjt amplifier and this uh, pre amplifier stage okay the entire vertical reflection uh, vertical amplifier section has been divided into two parts one is the fat input amplifier which is connected before the delay line and this main amplifier or bjt amplifier which is connected after the delay line okay and the output of this one is connected to vertical reflection plates okay now 
uh, we will look for this electronic switch what is the purpose of this electronic switch and how it is going to be operated i will tell now before going to this electronic switch let us see what are the different blocks encountered in the horizontal reflection system in the horizontal reflection system we need a sweep generator followed by horizontal amplifier see sweep generator we have followed by horizontal amplifier these two are okay fine but the sweep generator input should be coming from the trigger circuit the trigger circuit it has to take the sync pulse from three ways the one is internal signal as discussed in the previous cases it can take the input the trigger pulse sync pulses from internal signal and external signal another one is line supply okay here how many internal signals are there how many channels are there how many input signals are there two signals so channel a it can be from channel a or the same can be also obtained from channel b so how many are there now one two three and four so that's why channel a is there channel b is there external trigger impulse is there and line supply is also there this is line supply okay so these are the four different ways that we can get the synchronous signal to the, the trigger circuit the output of this trigger circuit is given to sweep generator followed by horizontal amplifier and then given to horizontal reflection rate so okay now coming to this electronic switch how it is going to be operated electronic switch basically operated into two modes electronic switch operated in two modes one is alternate mode alternate mode and the second one is chop mode chop mode <coughs> okay so electronic switch is operated in alternate mode and chop mode <coughs> what is the purpose of electronic switch electronic switch is purpose is to select channel a and channel b continuously or alternatively so that whenever the switch is connected to channel a channel a is displayed in the vertical reflection plate whenever the switch is connected to channel b channel b is displayed on the vertical reflection plates so instead of taking continuously instead of connecting the electronic switch continuously to only channel a here we are taking two different modes alternate mode alternate mode means in the sweep generator we have sweeps like this <coughs> okay so in this particular sweep channel 1 is going to be selected in this particular sweep channel 2 is selected in this particular sweep 1 is selected in this particular sweep channel 2 is selected that means alternatively alternatively the switch selects channel a and channel b depending upon the sweep generator output hope you understand sweep generator is a sawtooth waveform generator so for the first cycle it selects channel 1 for the second cycle it selects channel 2 and again one two like that it selects alternatively the electronic switch selects alternatively channel a and channel b that's why it is alternate mode next one is chop mode chop mode is nothing but within the same cycle it selects the channel a and channel b number of times it selects the channel a and channel b number of times so, so very shortest duration is there for this uh, electronic switch mode okay i will tell you in the graphical way then you can understand what is the difference between alternate mode and chop mode so as i said here alternate mode channel a is selected in the rising sweep time see here it is the um, here it is sweep time sweep time is ts from here to here and this is retrace time and the next sweep time up to this one this is tr plus ts and again tr plus ts so if you see here first channel a selected whenever there's a second sweep starts it is selecting channel b and again channel a channel b like that it is selecting alternatively and coming to the chop mode within the same cycle of the sweep it selects the channel a and channel b for number of times okay channel a is having shortest duration channel b then it is going and again channel a channel b during this off periods during this off periods channel b is going to be selected okay that means chop is nothing but cutting the signal into small pieces chop means small piece chopping chopping is nothing but cutting the signal into very small pieces so that's why the mode is named as chop mode 
okay so channel in the stop mode channel e and channel b are selected at a very fast rate so that the switch alternates between switch select c and b continuously uh, like a chop okay so if you go back to this uh, block diagram you can understand now how uh, signals are going to be selected a and b by the electronic switch that is okay if you see the block diagram we have one more mode that is x y mode what do you mean by x y mode and when this x y mode occurs suppose suppose if this switch <coughs> if this switch this here is a switch and here it is a switch okay so if this switch is opened and thus this point is connected to this one this point is connected to this one and this point is connected to this one okay then what happens then what happens see here in channel a we have given a sinusoidal signal in channel b also we have given a sinusoidal signal however as this switch is having only one signal because there is no connection here okay so as this electronic switch is having only the signal coming from channel a channel a is directly connected to vertical reflecting plates so vertical deflecting plates are having the signal from channel a because the channel b is directly eliminated from that path now channel b where it is connected channel b output is directly connected to this horizontal amplifier that means horizontal reflection plates are connected with a signal that is from channel b so in this type of case what happens channel a and channel b both are having sinusoidal signals both are having sinusoidal signals then the produced waveforms in the CRT screen are known as Lissajous patterns. Lissajous patterns. In the starting of this oscilloscope concept, I told you Lissajous patterns are generated when both horizontal and vertical reflection plates are, oper are uh, applied with the sinusoidal signals with a different phase shift. Depending upon the phase difference between these two signals between channel A and channel B, different types of patterns may occur. So some may be in circular, some may be in uh, uh, oval shape some may be in a rectangular shape uh, different types of shapes will occur depending upon the uh, phase difference between the channel a and channel b this is the mode called x y mode okay in x y mode less charges patterns are generated in x y mode less charges patterns are generated in that the mode what happens both horizontal and vertical reflection plates are operated with sinusoidal signals okay so in this GL trace oscilloscope, what we have to understand only one set of vertical reflection plates and one set of horizontal reflection plates are used and how a vertical reflection plate single set of vertical reflection plates uh, displays both the signals means by using an electronic switch. So electronic switch operates in two different modes. One is uh, uh, alternate mode and another one is chop mode. In alternate mode, uh, based on the sweeps first sweep during first sweep period channel a signal is selected general second sweep channel b is selected and alternatively it selects like that but whereas in the chop mode chopping is nothing but cutting the signal into small pieces so the samples of signals are selected and again transmitted to the vertical reflection plates this is what the electronic switch mode so additionally we have one more feature that is the xy mode x in xy mode both the plates are operated with less uh, sinusoidal signals in that mode lissages patterns are going to be generated on the display okay what is the purpose of lissages patterns we have a separate topic there i will tell you okay what is the purpose of lissages pattern lissages patterns may be like this or circle like this or like this like this or like this different types of patterns may be there lissages patterns depending upon the phase difference okay i will tell you what is the purpose of lissages patterns in the coming videos Lissajous patterns purpose is to measure the unknown frequency. Okay, I will tell you in the coming videos when this when this topic comes. Okay, this, so this is what the dual trace oscilloscope. Some description is also being added in this uh, next uh, three slides. Okay, thank you.